Not Miss Ui. So it's recording now. Oh yeah, I'll belong got in Good reminder. Yeah, got in uh. Thank, thanks reminder for Nazira on my phone. Oi. <coughs> Let me go in now and then I'll start the, the sharing. I think it, it not only affect only me, right? Sometimes I really forget to call out also like, oh, sh my God. Okay, let's share my screen now. So I will start the sharing. So everyone can see my screen, right? Just to like double confirm. Can see my screen, right? How to use this? Uh, chat. Yeah, I can. Okay, let's let me start now. So I need to watch my time. Now is okay. So today I want to talk about introduction about Google Search Console. So don't worry about no technical stuff. It's like I will touch a little bit though. At least everyone has like a basic understanding. Like when customer or like your, your tickets and answer like asking about Google Search Console. So what is it about that? So let's start now. So this is the definition from the official Google Search Console from the like the support. So you can always refer. I just copy and paste. So it's a free service offered by Google. You don't need to pay. It's not free. It's totally Pajuma free for you to monitor, maintain, troubleshoot your site present in Google search result. In human language, I would say this is search console is like a, like a health check. You know, like coronavirus, we use the thermometer in order to check. So search console is a tool to check the condition of your website. It's just basic like that only. So on top of that, you also give many functions, which I will explain. So sometimes, you know, if you are hard old enough, so you will learn, you will heard about Google Webmaster Tools. So the sejarah, the history of this actually is, this is the old, like since, like until the 2005 is actually is called Google Webmaster Tools. So you see this logo. So if you receive tickets so like customer or whatever person asking about Google Webmaster Tools, actually it's the same thing with Google Search Console. It's the same, same thing. So it's like only change. So like, Sometimes like if they're asking about Google Webmaster, then you know it's Google Search Console, like it's the same. Okay. So let's talk about like the few uh the tools and report. So first one is actually search console confirm the Google can crawl your site. So this is very important. So uh for example, it's many, you know, the freelance web developer, including ourselves also, sometimes we forget to click the you no know, discourage uh for WordPress discourage the website so it will mark as no index so sometimes you will see the client say i buy your hosting website email from you i built but after like months and months i even type my root domain domain bullet bullet in the url domain it will still unavailable fine because actually it's very common mistake they didn't like change the no index okay second is about the fees indexing problem and request indexing in short is indexing problem uh. no sometimes same also the back end issue like you block something the robot txt okay indexing problem uh. so so you sometimes not appear in google so third is about the view google search traffic data for data so if you see the google search traffic data this is very close related to seo so search engine optimization. So you, you can use the draw the most accurate data from your search console, meaning like people type something, which is I will show the devil afterwards, like to your data. This is very important. So to like, you need to know the condition, what's the behavior, search behavior to your website. So continue that. So another one, this is very famous for tech, especially the tech support, the chat hosting. I'm sure you all like, have like this, this kind of experience. I receive alerts where Google announced indexing, spam, or malware virus. So I will show the screenshot, everything, you know, 
how to answer, you know, and the customer cars also like, sometimes they will like forward this, hey, how, macam mana? I hope you're host, hosting and then now like I'm receiving Vix. Later, I will explain more. Sometimes it's not our fault. It's previous punya vendor fault and how to like uh, resolve using the shortest time. So follow up by show you which site link to your site. So this is about the link building. I will show you in the demo later. Then the sixth one, this is more for the CMS, the webmaster or the web developer like in short, like troubleshoot issue for AMP, mobile visibility and other such feature. For me is the now, I will more focus about the mobile usability. So which means when Google, now the Google getting more and more, actually for me it's completely 100% focus about mobile. So if your website mobile, you know, like sometimes it's too wide, sang it, especially the image is too big. So like you will see this mobile usability issue. Okay. So now this is the, if you click, I will share the link uh, at the end of the, this sharing. So this is the URL. So that you'll see like improve your, perf your performance, Google search, blah, 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 nothing. So this is like the, once if you have empty, you no know, like account. So this will be something like this. So welcome hey, to Google search. Sorry. Search console to start property. So you are left domain and you are prefix. So the first thing is that search console, you need to create an account. No, like yesterday, they will share about, oh, you can create multiple v uh, the Solus VM, the virtual machine. Same, similar like this search console. So you need to like create account. So they have two ways. Any domain one is actually, if not mistaken, is only start or uh, implement on last year. <laughs> then the usual way is actually using the URL prefix. Then, okay, next. If one fast and easy, pick the URL prefix. Okay. And then, this one is, I'm sure many tech also have facing the issue, like client, like uh, upload this, hey, can you help me? Like I, I, I find no road. Lah. Okay, so let's continue is how to choose the correct URL. So when you enter here, so I read this properly. Uh, only URL under enter address, only URL under specific protocol, protocol means HTTPS, allow multiple verification method. I will show uh, what's the, like, the field uh, recommendation and then the enter URL. So it should example. So I repeat that. Uh, enter the final URL from format, final URL. So if your website like have like redirection using cPanel, no, the false HTTPS redirection or with www is different. So for example, you can insert HTTPS, I want go out dot my, no, www, or this one you want use the www because the final URL already has www, do dot ruma diam diam dot my, okay. So this is, I want to show this, all are different. HTTPS, I want to go out without WV. And HTTPS, WV is different if you're using the URL prefix. So if your website still not like HTTPS, which is, is I would say not, not, not doing this. Uh, HTTP, like I want to go out, no HTTP, WV. Check and enter the target URL, the final URL. So they explain why certain user complain. No, they already created their Google Search Console property, or we saw called the account. But data, data, it's like after a few months that still know the graph is like low. I'll show the demo. Then because they create the wrong URL. So you can mention, actually you can just type their primary domain in Google. So you see, oh, Google actually show their pick, let's say the www version, HTTPS www, I want go out domain. But they create, I want go out domain without the www. So it will show, it has some little data, but it's few. So remember about the URL targeting. The HTTPS or HTTP also, it will affect the data, everything. Because Google treat everything, every URL is different website, okay? So the main like verification matters about the, like the advantage and disadvantage is, if you want to use the HTML file, so you need to have the web hosting access. Why? You need to upload to the root, uh, root folder, which I will show you uh, afterwards, the, using cPanel or Flex is the same. So literally, you just download this file and then upload to the root folder. <coughs> so the under cPanel, actually it's the same as like WordPress, like the public HTML file. It's two such a very simple. But you know, when you say about web hosting, you know, all the SME, the non very tech, like a customer, they will say, huh, very sensitive. Oh, I cannot, I don't know how to do this. I will show the step very simple only. 
net, if you're using the other verification man, actually it's the bottom. So HTML tag, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, like these three methods, I would say, need website CMS admin access. So this one, you need to like paste the link, the script into your website. So both have like the pro and cons. Huh? So the recommended verification method is like using the web hosting. The reason is if you're using you know, the CMS, sometimes you the the can you know, the Google Analytics, you update the plugin, the theme, then you override everything or you click something wrong. You will might overwrite all the codes. Okay, hello, Sao Jie. And then you should you need to like have this one is more I would say safe. So you just upload to your root domain the folder. It will stay at there. So like it won't catch out many things. Then so this is the full verification method. So you always can refer to this the link. I will share the links like at the slide afterwards. So. Google Search Console, the official help is Google. I have many, you know, the very quality, the documentation. So if you lost or your client, you no know, keep, I, I try this, try that double A line. You try this, actually you can share this link to the client. So even they have like, at each uh, methods, they have like Google YouTube tutorial, you no know, from Google. So it's very clear, you no, know, that they teach you like screenshot video step one by one. So you can show them about this. It's not very hard, but for certain people, maybe it's like very complicated. So I always refer to this. Why? Because you know, Google, they always change something. They didn't tell you one. So the, the moment you know, hey, this time, this method last time is work, but now double A already. So always refer to the official one. So this is the line line button verification methods. And then, so this is just not I mentioned, if using cPanel, so you can just go to like file manager, you need to log into cPanel. Lah. Then, publish HTML, upload it to Saja. Just what I mentioned is like download this file HTML. It's just a code only, like a tag. Ah. So like this uh, website is belong to you. Okay. So if you're using HTML tag, it's under this one. It's a, a alternative methods for verification the account versus console. So if you're using like WordPress plugin, you know, the like Yoast, the SEO plugin, one of the like famous. So you can also like, Based at here, so you don't need to. The advantage of this is you need no need to like push back to you know, the the C panel. You know, certain client like feel not very comfortable that they want to stick back to the CMS is fine. So you also can paste this the the code here. So you don't need to log in C panel, Plex or FTP is is the same. Hi, mean and then okay now back to the 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 hardcore one. Okay, the domain method. So the advantage of a using domain, they use they say enter this and enter domain and subdomain. I will recommend using the domain. Why? So okay. So the verification method is very mahuan. They call domain ownership verification. It's like you need to copy this as a TXT record. I just every time I, I, I always screenshot this and then ask our tech. In fact, yesterday I asked YX to like paste this to one of clients. Okay, so you need to paste into the, the DNS. Then if you I talk about DNS, it's like no, no many kind will huh apply to how to check. Then how do I know? How do I check? Then can I check my uh, at myself or not? It's quite complicated. So I would say this one really depends on uh, depends like how much the skill or the webmaster have. And then same with the other verification method, they also like have the ownership verification, not the, the tutorial, so you can watch the uh, YouTube the step by step. So if still unable to verify using this method, I would say contact ho uh, hosting support, not our tech, if they host with us, okay? So actually, if you type from Google, like long, long, long time ago, last year, actually our database, the knowledge base, also like mentioned about verification site with Google Search Console indexing option. Somebody already like write quite long also with screen sh screenshot. Uh, I'm sure the tech know already. So, and then this is another like the more, I think I prefer this version. So like verify ownership, they teach you how to add, you know, the add zone. So in short is, if you're using cPanel, then your domain point to the NS11112, you can add to the cPanel, the zone editor. If you're using Black which is, Another story, we, I mean, as a user, we cannot access, so you need to add stack. 
So if you point to the NS1841, 86 then you can add using to the using the building. So if you're not understand about this, don't worry. Ask someone to understand about this. Okay, it's quite complicated. Then if you point to other DNS, then you need to add the hosting via provider sector. So it's very complicated. So the good thing is the domain uh, ownership is you can know all the line line. So remember about this slide. Okay, so if I verify that I want to go out of mine, everything here, I can know. Like maybe certain people, the fella forget to like using Apache HDSS. Uh, they didn't like force redirect everything HTTPS. So you can know why my HTTP version, the traffic keep going up. So like, a eh, by right should be, I already buy a HTTPS uh, or some tech for conversion that didn't force HTTPS. So if using the domain, which is later I'll show, it will show the, all the everything inside, all the URL, including subdomain as well. So this is very good. It's just one time settle. But the verification method is Mahwana. Then let's continue. Okay. Then the next big topic, I'll talk about the security issue. Okay, chat. From Keith. Hi, Martin. Why some website have WW and some don't have that is matter SEO or the website performance? So the short answer is please pick one. And then in Google My is you have WW or WW is actually is a different URL. Pick one URL. If you don't have any idea, pick which version you type the primary domain from Google. If Google already list the WW, use the WW. Don't do the extra 201 redirection. You know, like make things less. And then this one actually I already have. Um, I write about the blog post long, long, long time ago. I can share you the share you the blog post. Actually, it doesn't matter. Okay, WW and not WW. Okay, let's back to the security issue. So the famous about Google Search Console Web Master is about the security issue. You know the security issue like oh, Gena malware, the famous one, Gena malware, Gena virus. Then they share, they share about the. Usually they they share about the you know the screenshot and then forward to our tech. And then if so unlucky, you know the tech, especially the tally one, you know that there was the complain kao kao one, like oh your website holds ah, uh, then like a problem lah, uh, like hey your website sucks or uh, whatever everything. Actually, everything if you want us as uh, like you know the tech or the vendor or whatever person to help, you need to access to Google Search Console. It's the most accurate one. Because Google, when you receive the warning, the screenshot actually is from here. So, so it's under security issue. They have like many tabs here in the left-hand side is security issue. If you see this, Melang is like clean. Ah. Okay. So this is the example. Under the security and manual action, you see one issue detected. So it's for under malware. Malware is, I would say, the most popular one. And then it will say the blah, 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 and then finishing indexing. So the, if you see this kind of like screenshot, then you know, oh, something wrong with the website. Oh. Yeah, so here another like, the advantage of using Google Search Console is, you can malware like, like this is uh, another issue, it's called user-generated spam. So don't worry about this, it's like if you lost, which is actually even tech also lost one, you can click the learn more, you not know, to read more about the description, you know, the what is the story about why this website like gonna you know the spam like user. It will display the effect of your this is extremely important. So especially for tech, you know, like you copy paste everything. I know that maybe some issue like oh client cannot like give you access to privacy, blah 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 issue, but at least you need to show this. Love it. Okay, extend. And then the, the all the affected URL. So if you didn't give this to tech, they are mana tau like which URL like gonna. Okay, so this is very helpful. Like you can like show them as you we need this like. Can you like uh, I don't want to say screenshot lah. Can you like copy paste all the affected URL, okay? And then like paste to the tag so they can know they can identify. Usually they will identify the pattern on you know, the URL. Eh? This this folder or certain folder. They gonna the malware or virus, blah, blah, blah. So after that is, if you want to gonna everything, you will, we need to like request, request review. So this is very important. You clean everything. You they didn't do anything. Google that tower. And then I have personal. I have one experience is, after I clean this, 
if lucky, actually mm. is within days. Uh. If you're unlucky, in my in weeks. Uh. So we cannot say, or uh, it's very fast one uh, because you know Google have billions, zillion of website every day also request review. So you need to test type request review and you type few sentences. So this is Gavin teach me one. Uh. Uh, you need to type something like one or two sentences. Uh, you do this, be honest, okay? Uh, so Google support really will read this and then they will like check again, okay? <coughs> so remember to request review and then like you can like mark down screenshot the day, how many, it will show you the day you request one. So this is very important. Don't think you request or or sometimes it's your client uh, is just uh, not a end user like they don't care about this like. You can teach them like request after you request, please can you screenshot or not? This is approved. Huh? After request, they will show the date one. Then how to check like if you gonna malware or you suspected gonna coronavirus? Hey, no, suspected gonna malware is so you can go to this jury site check just bubble based very simple. Right? Also the tech guy also teach me it's very fast. Everyone so can do cast sales also can do so you paste at that. So second is, I would say Google Transparency Report. This is, you know, that sometimes the website, you can the red color, the browser. And so you can paste here, if it can or not. So the fastest method, I would say, is using this suture. So you can just paste, then you know the website is going away or not. Then the optional one, actually Google uh, Search Console, you can sync to the Google Analytics also. So this is, I know it's out of topic, but actually just so you can see more data. So now it's demo time. Okay, I already talk almost half an hour. So everyone can see my screen or not? So this is the Google Search Console. Okay. So just now when I mentioned the domain, right? The domain verification one. Uh, I think I should add digital. So you will see if you're using the domain verification, it will fall under the domain property. So under this is the, the few like the main uh what do you call sidebar. So like you see overview performance, you are indexed. So the security manner action is here, manner action. So as a by digital, of, of course, it's no issue. But issue, you will ND already know. Okay. And then, so let's start from the most basic one. So after you verify everything, you will see something like this. So this is the performance, the search click. So this is everything in Google organic, not paid, just purely Google organic and Google only, uh, not by doping every line line. So this coverage, I will explain like very simple. So this enhancement, okay. Then another few things is starting from last begin end of last year and beginning of this year, you will receive every month. It will share send an email, monthly email to you, something like this, like your favorite performance, like matcha mana, you know, the web, the click is performance. Like this is from the Google Search Console, okay. Then what is the top growing pages? What is the top performing pages? Then what is the like the most popular like keyword people find you about you? Then I want to remind is like many clients, especially you know like uh, those like really no idea about the web online marketing that's still new. When they see everything start about the Google Google, you know the letter here they will see wow very serious one. Actually this is just an automated like repeat like. Uh, like monthly report on me. So don't scare about it. So sometimes it's when you client like uh, forward or screenshot WhatsApp the email you know, like from got Google Search Console report. Read first. Actually, it's nothing. Just the automated one. Why I'm starting about this is like actually many usually, usually user or create the Google Search Console email report as very important one. You no, know, like Gena malware. So please read properly. Actually, it's just, it's just the malware. So this it's like the monthly one. It will send to you monthly. Okay, let's back. So if you click the performance, then the good thing is like you, you can play around. So like you can see the clicks impression. CTR is called click to rate. And then average positions. And then I will say is like now you can choose the web image video. Usually I just remain on web. This one, no need catch out. Okay, this one is the most powerful. Last time only tahan for 90 days. Now can ask. 10 until like 16 months. Huh? If you don't have like big sample size, you can see all the, the data. And then you have like additional filtering option also. Like let's say I want to page, you have only contain and not contain. Huh? Not the, you know, the UL, the Excel, the macro. That one, actually you can just export everything. So do your comparing. 
Then you also can do the comparing, you know, like URL versus whatever. So this is like depends on your analytic. Uh. And then so here, uh, this is too much. Let's say back to the three months. So you can see everything. So like, usually I will like just like disable this so you can see the trend. So, so from here, actually why spy up? Because it's the one of my article talking about the Chinese New Year like post one, you know, the, all the YouTube video. So from here, you can see the query here refer to keywords. So you can click the pages. So query meaning is like how many query, how many keywords, this keyword bring traffic, organic traffic to your website. So you can see, usually we were based on clicks, then you can know which URL, which page bring the highest click to your website. Or you can check the country, in organic, still Malaysia or device, we still primary desktop, so that industry is mobile. Okay, search appearance, this one uh, a little more cheap, uh, more deep, so I'll skip that. Okay. And then another thing is I want to talk about, just not mention about the indexing right, or the functions. You can go to the coverage here. So you see, oh, go one arrow. What arrow? Uh? Actually, it's server 505XX. So that the good thing about the search console is it will show you, huh? HTTPS like, oh, this website, uh, I just asked the Bing Ling solve already. Okay. So I can, let's say demo like you, you fix this issue, you can click the validate fix. So you might wait like a few minutes. Then after that, it will show you the started date. So don't expect this is like very in, immediately. You, you need time, week, days, or sometimes weeks. Then so it will solve. So after this one harvest, it will share you the email notification. One. Okay, so the coverage. So you can see like oh, some pages, one pages that have like warning. So it will show you everything. What I want to mention is, Search Console is very powerful, is you click the details, the error, the issue, it will show you the URL. So you will know which URL, gonna block, have some issue or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, next about the sitemap. So sitemap in short is directly. La. So you need to tell Google, hey, any, any list of pages is my sitemap. Okay. I don't want to mention about this. So you want this as you can use the plugin, you no know, like online have many tutorials. So you can do, need to paste the uh assignment URL then submit. So the next one is removal is a new thing. Okay. Uh especially the Elin, you no know, the our instant website client, you no, know, they only transition from the old website, then come to us, we convert instant website like new website for them. Maybe they have still certain pages, important pages still outdated. Okay, now this is the best part is like, you can actually create new requests. You enter that URL, you tell Google, hey Google, can you like temporarily like, like remove URL or clean cache or something like this. Okay, this is the new tools is why to solve, especially, you know, the, the Google search, they still cache the old data. They, let's say they still, the title and description, they still display the old linear matter, which is sometimes very sensitive, or they already brought for other, uh, other company, they still display, let's say the old company name. So can you can use this feature or temporarily remove the whole URL while you're still like revamp versus something like that. And then this is only for Tahan for six months. Uh. So the more actually the, the documentation, I suggest like you read carefully, uh, they have many, option uh, like or you can uh, malware they can this this is very new i still didn't try before because i don't have any scenario to try just just let let you know then next is about the enhancement so you can see this one is not all website have the same one if your website don't have this kind of thing this kind of feature in your website you will not see everything at all so i will skip the speed speed is uh you can see the screenshot something like this, they will speak into mobile and desktop. For me, I focus on mobile usability. Oh, you can see error, got two error, what error? See, now text too small, clickable element too close. Sometimes this is very funny, uh, is <clears throat> the team Bunia Kajau CSS, this one is another topic of uh, the designing parts. But I would say just look at this, uh, the mobile, if the, I would say is the team maybe outdated or, didn't well maintain 
if you see like at hundreds of URL kena this error, then something wrong with your team. So, so you need to ask the vendor, the designer, the agency to hey, please fix. Huh? So this is very important. Because for now, it's like Google only prioritize for the mobile traffic. In short, it's they don't care about desktop. Like, not, not as much as previous. Like, so mobile is very extremely important. So pay attention about this. So if you have like the AMP, for those who don't, don't know the AMP, sometimes like you, you take from Google, you see the thunder, 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 thunder icon click, your instant one. So it will show you the, if you implement that. Uh. Then the line line one, this is like more to ours. <clears throat> the correct thing we call structure data. You have the FAQ, how to, then you can know. The most common like the issue is for the e-commerce, including the WooCommerce website is the product one. So you will see sometimes there are a lot of warning about the product, or like missing this, uh, that uh, warning. Uh. It, this is more for the webmaster tools. Uh. And then next, uh, we'll talk about few things is about the access. So access is after you verify is I'm the verified owner. So I'm the owner. So you have like few options. So you can like, let's say I want to add my team. I hire another like, uh, people like webmaster to control like let's say agency to like have a look consultant for my website so can you just go to add then blah 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 it's google account email uh. and then full this is actually using is, is usually is full uh. okay this is add user so if you want to add owner another nobody know less people know about this actually you can just manage property owner then you click that it will jump you can add as the owner under let's say digital she is here. Here, actually, you can see it's very old near like Lao Yao near the old near interface because it still didn't update. So I can add an owner here. So this is why why I need you teach this owner is the highest like super admin uh, for the Google Search Console. Uh. So if you add user for my certain feature, the especially the synchronization, the API, the third party, it will still not working. So this is add user. Okay, talking about the add user is I will advise, I cannot many SP, uh, experience from my current the SEO the client. Sometimes as a user, you know like, the time I must so come to Exabyte, I only realize on oh, Google account, let's see. Actually no need to use Gmail, you know? I'm sure many of us also like, huh? Oh, you use your company email to create a Google account email. Okay, why I emphasize this? Many company they langsung tatao using Gmail or we saw the free email. It will cause cause many issues like people who is this email ah? who create this email ah? nobody know about that. So first is use the like ourselves like martinexabyte.com. No use the company email to create a Google account. It will might make you more professional and then it's good for tracking. Then keep in mind the Google account. If that person learn away the password, no, that one is still an issue. So that one is subject to whatever the client. If you no know, for the enterprise client or whatever, sometimes you will advise this. I will say like owner don't only one, at least few. I know this is depends on the privacy. Maybe Carmen can explain about that. It's like certain access need to like at least one, two, three, four, whatever. Like please create more. If not, it will like many issue. Oh my LED light, no battery anymore. And then after that is about the and uh okay this one I skip with it site. So overall the search console is like this. Huh? The thing I actually completely miss out is actually the about the more to the keywords on the SEO one. So you can know the keywords, what is the keywords bring traffic organically to your website. And then the, this is the pages, what is the highest, like the most popular pages most popular uh, analytic traffic to your website. So this is more for the uh, keyword research. Huh? Okay. Then let's back to, we have one chat, let me check. Yeah, because my LED light, no more already. Okay, it's a good indicator, like it's almost time already. And then, any question? 
question and answer, especially you always like create uh you receive from client everything like the malware, how to solve, what's the tips. If not, I will like, I wait for a few minutes, or you all can type. You know, I will just close this app. This sharing. Okay, thank you, Don. <coughs> Any else? Anything else? Question and answer? For tech, I would say usually kernel one is the verification and the malware. For customer service, I would say still the same. The you know, how to fix the the like malware la, verification la, DNS la. Then for the digital real real digital marketing one, usually they only like uh, that one is like for the keyword research. La. Okay, how to remove sitemap? Can Google Search Console check site speed? That one is just recommendation. La. Okay, let me demo, like one by one first, from Agong one, site map here. Uh, I remember it's here. Ah, nah, 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 this one. You see, remove site map. So like, this is a very good uh, question from, let's say the client still using the old Boudinia site map, the old assignment, you can just click here, and then you click, 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 then you can just remove assignment. How often do you need to submit a new assignment? Okay, if your new assignment is using the dynamic, I'm using the Yoast one, we call like dynamic bunya. So when your website have new pages, new posts, new posts, it will automatically add into this. The traditional way of sitemap is, which I'm not really recommend is, they, you literally, okay, Let's say you use the you no know, the most common way is they say using the use sitemap generator something like that. Then this is like one time only, you no. Know. You how to say that time if you had this sitemap, then they just submit. If after six months you already create like say five thousand pages, it will not submitted lah. So I will I will suggest using the dynamic methods lah. It will like uh more uh fresh. Then another question as the Zian one. Can Google also search check with that one is it is fall under here? Performance. Hey, where are you? Or oh, speed. It's still experimental. Lah. And then keep in mind is this is they're using their own algorithm. I would think I would say you can't get the fast one. Lah. From Justin, Search Console, able to track features simple we have have and preview also. Yes, so you can refer to this. If this one don't appear at the enhancement, I will say you not uh say if this one you didn't see anything, it might be your structure data if you didn't implement uh, wow, who making who making some stuff, huh? Okay. For example, like let's say Actually, the I, video. I text, I text oh, okay. And then here is let's say I using the product or uh, review. The experience mm -hmm. for me is from structured data to test, uh, you test is valid, but here they are that bunjo one. The search console is for me is not instant, it's not like the updated. It will like Late a little bit lah, so the structure data. Any more question? This is very technical. Sorry for the not understanding one. Can you share how to do structure data step by step? Yeah, in future, that they, they one very technical like, In future, <clears throat> new question also. We still have two more weeks. Any more questions? You know, I will end. So it's ngam ngam for the five minutes. Yeah, no, I still in. Ah, uh, this is the, the the thing I love about Zoom. So thank you and stay home, stay safe. Uh, so wait for the ten a.m. Uh, announcement.
for our walls. So thank you. Bye bye.